Welcome back to another one from our Bartoszka tour somewhere here in this beautiful side room with overly acceptable audio while the sound check is going on next door. Let's talk about probably the most fragile instrument in a band, the voice of a singer. You know, when a drummer breaks a snare head, you change it out, guitarist breaks a string, same thing. But if the singer blows out his voice, that's a bit more difficult to fix if you have another show the next day. So prevention is pretty much obligatory for having a successful tour from start to finish. As I said, Right now I'm on tour with Batushka where I'm the lead singer doing all the screaming vocals and we have 16 shows on 16 dates on this tour, meaning no off days, so every day the vocals must be on point and the only recovery time is always less than 24 hours in between shows. Everyone is built differently, so I don't think there's a one-fits-all solution and over time most singers figure out what works for them and what doesn't. So over the years I've developed a few techniques that help me to do tours like this without totally destroying my voice after two days. But you can always learn something new, so I also think it's beneficial to everyone if you try out some tricks from other singers, of course. And since there are some great bands with us and some really great singers on this tour, let's also hear from them and their secret tips on maintaining a good sounding voice throughout the tour before I, of course, also share my approach on preserving my voice. Je vais toujours avoir la même routine, c'est-à-dire que dans un premier temps, je vais toujours échauffer ma, ma voix de tête, donc euh, euh, faire euh, toujours faire euh, mon, un roulement euh, vocal, donc euh, comme euh, un peu comme euh, qui va me permettre en fait de voir si j'ai des trous euh, dans ma dans ma bande de fréquence. Euh, et euh, toujours euh, lentement faire, euh, faire un déroulement comme ça. Globalement ça va être euh, toujours dans un premier temps de vraiment travailler la, la, voix, de, la voix de tête. Donc euh, en l'occurrence moi je vais beaucoup faire des, des extrêmes aigus. Donc je vais vraiment aller chercher tout ce qui est, euh, tout ce qui est euh, tête et euh, voix de sifflet. Donc... Et euh, ensuite dans un second temps je vais commencer à préparer mes euh, faux scores vocales mes uh, false chords avec des petits sons que je vais jamais chercher à uh, faire plus uh, énervé je vais jamais chercher un son très joli toujours aller sur des sons uh, très faibles qui vont plus ressembler à des uh, un peu comme une grosse vache en fait uh, un, un peu uh, avec un son un peu un peu faible comme ça. Euh, après le show, ce qui va se passer, c'est que souvent je vais avoir une voix un peu, un peu éraillée, euh, voilà, parce que euh, elle est fatiguée. Et donc euh, en fait, ce qui se passe, c'est que le guttural va avoir tendance à baisser le larynx. Donc là, le travail, ça va être de rehausser le larynx avant que euh, qu'il euh, il soit refroidi. En fait, quand, tant qu'il est encore à chaud, parce qu'après euh, le problème c'est qu'on va pouvoir euh, remonter le larynx que en se reposant. Donc pour remonter son larynx, euh, larynx ce qu'il faut c'est euh, faire euh, de nouveau de la voix de tête, donc comme, euh, comme à l'échauffement avant. Et euh, je fais ça à peu près euh, dans les 10-15 pr premières minutes après le show, euh, je fais ça. Si, euh, je, si je sens qu'encore j'ai des problèmes, je vais aller checker quand même euh, ma, ma, voix de, ma voix de sifflet comme tout à l'heure. Et euh, doucement, je vais récupérer comme ça ma voix, ne pas essayer de, de tout de suite, tout, de tout de suite avoir sa, sa voix pleine. Et, euh, et vraiment prendre son temps pour récupérer toute sa, bah, toute sa plage vocale. Sur 
so before a show, I usually go around and I, I just hymn to myself and like sort of sing little songs just to get my voice going. And I usually have some beverage, some hot tea or preferably with honey. That works well for me. Do you do something after the show? Except drinking beer? <laughs> No, not really. After a show, I usually have a beer and I have a smoke, <laughs> which is probably not the best thing to do. Okay, how about you? Uh, for me, I just try to start a little soft screaming. You don't go full volume, just get the throat vibrating, warm it up a bit. Also hot drinks before and after the show. And the Jägermeister is always a classic. It helps, lubricates. So probably my routine sounds like not too much fun considering the cliche of being on tour is to be wasted and living unhealthy the entire time but okay so when i know that i have multiple shows ahead of me especially with batushka and i'll get to why that's a bit different from other bands in a minute i really try to stay hydrated the entire day so i drink lots of water and you probably see me at any given minute of the day with a bottle of water and you probably also never see me with any other beverages so no soft drinks or beer or something like that so yeah not very metal i know um, so my most important uh, trick is uh, that i drink a small glass of whole milk right before the show and really the more fat it has the better usually i try to go for 3.5 percent or higher in my experience it does make a big difference if it's 3.5 3.8 or 4.1 of course but that's not that easy to come by in supermarkets at least in europe i think uh, the reason is that the milk puts a very slimy film over the throat uh, which sounds a lot better and also kind of lubricates the voice a little bit if that makes sense. Um, while drinking uh, the glass of milk, I like to do some very soft growths in the back of my throat, mostly with my mouth closed, only to get my vocal cords uh, warmed up a little bit. Like, so nothing, nothing too, too heavy on the voice. I guess it's a little bit of a funny exercise, especially for new singers or those that have never done warm-up exercises at all. But just try it. Don't be afraid that someone might laugh or something like that. Usually you're in the backstage with your band, so your bandmates should be the last people that laugh at you for warming up your voice. At least I've never had anyone laugh during my warm-ups, so yeah, just do it. Warm up before a show. So the next trick that I do is this little magic pill. Well, it's not that magic. You can buy it in every pharmacy, I think. It's called a uh, Gelo Revoice. Comes in different flavors and uh, is something like a cough drop or something like that. So these are specifically for stressed out vocal cords. Um, they also put a kind of lubricating film over your throat. And I've had excellent experiences with them, uh, especially whenever I'm recovering from a cold or something. And this is why it's also a bit different to do vocals in Batushka. The effect of the milk uh, from before the show doesn't last that long and during the entire show in Batushka I cannot drink anything between songs um, because of the mask uh, that we're wearing. Uh, so right before I put on my mask 
uh, and walk on stage, I throw one of these uh, pills in my mouth and stash it in, in the back of my teeth. Uh, so in between vocal parts, whenever I feel my throat gets a little bit dry, I usually, uh, and I would usually take a sip of water, I go over this pill with my tongue and it lubricates my voice and calms it down, if that makes sense. Sounds a little bit weird, uh, weird, but really works like a charm and um, I have these with me all the time. And most importantly, of course, is technique. I'm not gonna go into that uh, since that's a whole different topic for on its own. But yeah, basically, if it hurts, you're doing it wrong. Anyway, I hope this was sort of interesting. I definitely find it always very interesting to hear tips and tricks from other singers. So if you have some methods that help you maintaining your voice, share them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Ul, Ibüren and Kanonenfieber. And I'll see you in the next one.